Okay, looks like I get to do this twice. I think I'm going to need an eraser. Yeah, okay. This is, uh, I just shot this. So we're going to go at it again. I don't think I uh, must have done something wrong. We're going to have to see. But uh, proof positive, I was going to try and do everything on this channel without having practiced. Um, that was the unique part of it. My name's Sam. This is my music channel. Welcome back. This should be episode uh, three, something like that. It might be two. Who knows? It's as informal as it gets. Um, I missed. Yep. I'm sorry. Try and stay in focus here. I missed. Yeah. Um, I had to do some interior work. Um, that shouldn't happen too often. I'll make a change. I would rather post Thursdays. It's late on Thursday. And uh, then um, I will not promise to have something up every week because I can get stopped um, in my tracks and have to dig myself out. So um, that happened. I got dug out. Friends helped. Um, it was really good. And so here we are back again going at it with the very next step, uh, improving yourself in music through understanding theory and being able to... Uh, to uh, write music, uh, on, and uh, that's where we're going. So if we're going to do all of that, then we have to have some basic things um, that I actually had in the fourth grade. Um, but uh, it's been 50 years since then. So uh, this would be what we would call the lines, and uh, after you got the lines up, they call that the staff. And here's a treble clef, which was... Uh, sort of, you wouldn't recognize it, but it was a lot different looking in uh, 1100 AD. So let's just start with uh, making the lines. So uh, lines, one, two, there are five, three, four, and number five. And uh, this is uh, the first time I've tried to do this. Um, this is, uh, I could give you an hour, and we don't have an hour. So call this the treble clef, also known as the G clef. The crosshairs end up on the G. So we're just going to try and make this. I'm going to do this 100 times this week. I hope that you do as well. Um, this is not a lesson. This is us learning together. Quite different. So as I said at the last opportunity, we go around here, right? We try and reach up to the top of this. Last one went better. We give ourselves a little margin. We go up through the top. We get over here above. We come back down. Ah, uh, we missed. So that's what this looks like. Come back down in a more graceful fashion. And then we hit the bottom and we come up like this. And we give our little monkey's tail a little ball on the end. And that's kind of what a treble clef can look like. And you can't worry about how bad it feels. Uh, if you're like me, when you don't do everything perfect the first time. But I did get the G crosshair. I did get this below, which would be about at the same as another line, if there were another line. There is not, so we'll do that that way. And uh, I don't know. It's uh, done. You have to do 100 of those. Those are on the range of the guitar. Uh, the lowest uh, note of the guitar is about three below. It's an E. And so this is where we find uh, that our guitar's notes live, is in the treble, mostly. Um, F-A-C-E, guys, this is, uh, their notes. So in the spaces, there's a four-word, uh, uh, acrostic or acronym, uh, F-A-C and E. Yeah, right. And then on the five, they are, uh, E, uh, 
E, no, it was the E, E, G, yeah, here we ready? Okay, good, E, G, B, D, F. Now, that's enough. Um, I wonder how long we went. Oh, 14, who knows. We'll go through this. Why is this not so important but yet still needs to be there is because there are actually three of these. One is called the uh, uh, base clef. And I'm not going to try and draw it because I don't have it up to copy. I've never drawn a base clef in my life, but I know it's there. And there's also a soprano clef. Uh, there's also a, uh, uh, there's an alto clef. And, and so the one we need to learn uh, for our purposes, my purposes, is just the treble. And we'll find that there's these other little, <sighs> other little lines that you can make uh, this way and this way and this way. And that's when you get into the bass clef area. Of course, they go up that way. And we will have to use those to get down to the E note. Um, and I won't do that now. I don't want to look that bad in front of the world or misinform anybody. This is as far as I can take it. This is as far as I got this week. I'll do it a hundred times, and I'll tell you the story of this. 1100 AD, a bunch of fellas were uh, actually in a monastery singing chants, and they knew other guys in other monasteries. And uh, they needed to put notes uh, to them. They didn't even know that. At first, there were not actually notes. There were just marks, you know, that said things were higher or lower. You know, Dave had a range. Bob had a range, you know. Uh, you know, uh, Igor had a range if he was in a Russian monastery. And I'm sure Charles had a range in, in, uh, in a, you know, Britain. But they had to communicate with each other over a standard. So someone said, well, let's give them names. And I'll get better at this later as time goes on. But those names turned into our modern seven notes. Um, e, G, B, D, F, F, A, C, E. So let's see if that's enough for you today. Uh, as I said, this is about me going through this teaching me. And that's not easy. So I am learning. I don't know if I should lean on the guitar tonight or not. It's uh, a lot when I get frozen. You probably can't even see the darn thing. I don't have a strap on it. Um, I'd have to move the camera. Have to learn how to make a transition no I won't do a transition hmm well we'll see maybe next week maybe tomorrow please tune back in do this okay thank you all have a good evening see you in hopefully seven days if not sooner <laughs>